hey guys uh, thought of doing a video about uh, basic questions we all have or beginners have about this game in this video we will focus only on gems and heroes so uh, one of the basic questions we have about the game is how to get gems because let's face it gems play a major role in the game uh, either rolling uh, heroes uh, rolling their talents or even get into complete buildings on time like this uh, like here or even adding more builders so you can fasten up uh, increase the pace of the game or even adding shields to the game so obviously gems are very important in this game and there are basically two ways to get gems one is you can get gems for free or you can buy gems uh, let's see how we can get gems for free there are basically uh, two ways to get free gems if you click on this little uh, gift box icon in the game you'll be taken to a screen like this and you can see uh, something called free gems here if you click on it if you click on go you will be directed to another window and let's wait till it loads and you will be, you will be able to see there are several offers here uh, I have done most of it so now only the crappy ones are left here if you perform this task let's say download and run this app if you download this app uh, and run it just once you will be given credited with six gems uh, this may seem like a shitty deal but um, there are some really great ones there are at, at least there were some really great, great ones if you can complete uh, offers such as these you can really get a good gem count 371 297 so that's one way also there are several daily challenges within the game if you can do if you can complete them within a 24 hour period you'll be awarded a little bit of gems let's see if you again go to this uh, gift box icon and scroll down you'll be able to see uh, there's a daily login reward of five gems you uh, you will get it no matter what you just have to click uh, go or something here then if you f uh, fight ten times in the arena you will be given another five gems then you will be you will be given a j daily target of target of gold and mana mana to steal from other players and if you reach that target you will be given uh, ten gems each uh, so those two methods are basically th about getting free gems and if you want to buy gems uh, you can click on this plus mark next to the gem count and you will be uh, directed to the gem purchasing page here you can see different packages of gems and I think you should always target uh, packages with gem bonuses because let's face it, face it, you don't want to be spending too much money on the, on a game like this. I mean, the game is game is great and all, but uh, I don't know. It's up, totally up to you. Anyway, um, so these are the gem packages available for now, and just target uh, any package with gem bonus. Uh, why purchasing gems or getting gems is important because rolling heroes is totally based on or basically there are three methods of rolling heroes but hiring with HP has very last very low chance of giving you legendary heroes so that's out of the equation hiring with shards is a great way to get heroes but if you go towards uh, elite and legendary heroes you will see that you need 
hell of a lot of shards to purchase these legendary heroes I mean even Atlantico seems uh, unachievable in this lifetime 6000 shards I mean, come on but I did buy my druid spending shards 1800 shards and that was a great deal I really like him so high with gems is the next option and as you can see you can spend gems in uh, 450 and 150 lots 450 obviously gives you three heroes and 150 gives you one hero so one hero costs 150 uh, higher ring heroes with gems give you a comparatively high chance of getting legendary heroes so uh, you should be targeting you should be always targeting hiring with uh, hiring with gems another important thing i have to say is that there's one legendary hero that you cannot get with uh, shards hb or gem uh, ha shards or hb or even gem rolls uh, you have to get him through here if you can see by uh, here I am uh, just I haven't reached that stage actually but by 15,000 gems to get a hero here we have just a, a high level sacrifice but if you actually reach 50,000 gems if you purchase 50,000 gems you will get the legendary hero named spirit mage that is the only way you can get the spirit mage so if you are serious about this game uh, you should consider paying uh, paying around 300 to 400 dollars to get this spirit match uh, the amount of money you ha we will have to spend will vary between 300 to 400 because if you actually purchase uh, gem packages with bonuses you will actually have to spend around roughly around 300 to get the spirit match but if you do not get packages with gem bonuses you will have probably have to spend around 400 to 450 <coughs> so that's why i said it's important to buy packages with gem bonuses also another important thing about gems is you can use them to roll for hero abilities now i haven't done this one single time uh, because it costs around 300 gems but I'm sure it's totally worth it. Now here if you can see my Thunder God is uh, level 1 of 5 War God which is basically nothing good for nothing talent. Increases attack by 10%. Uh, if it's actual, if it's even 3 of 5, 4 of 5 that's very good. But you can change this if you roll 4 talents using 300 gems per roll. If, if you, you can click here and use 300 I don't have 300 to show you so <coughs> those are the basic uses of gems in the game and if you have any further questions please leave a comment on the video I will also link an article I wrote about the game which will also answer probably about uh, everything from heroes to gems uh, you can go check it out as well so yeah if you have any questions or comments please leave below take care guys